Hey guys, so today I'm going to do the My First Time tag. A lot of people have done this recently. I think Joey Graceffa started this off like a year ago, um, so I'm going to use his questions because those are quite cool. And if you want to check out his video afterwards, then I'll put a link below. So yeah, here we go. What was the first YouTube video you ever made? My first YouTube video was a lip sync to the song Big Ass Rock, which is from the Full Monty musical. I really liked it at the time, and I don't know why I wanted to do a lip sync, but I thought it'd be fun. And embarrassingly, I'm going to show it to you now. So here is 10 seconds of it. Oh my gosh, cringy, cringe, cringe, cringe. Yeah, I think it was just like so bad that I had to speed it up and make it Chipmunks version. But wow, well, um, please don't post that anywhere else. Yeah, the video is private, and I'm not gonna let you see any more than that. I'm afraid. What was your first car? That was a Seat Ibiza. Looks like this. It was a pretty cool car and actually when I went on my year abroad like two years ago I actually sold it to my parents so they're still using it and like it's still going today so yeah it's pretty decent. What was the first thing you did this morning? I went downstairs, said hello to my doggy and made breakfast. I had yoghurt and granola and a cup of tea. How very British. What was your first tweet? I actually found this out a few days ago and mentioned it on Twitter but yeah my first tweet was just hmm. I think it was because like there have been so many new social networking sites, I was just like bored of having to sign up to all the new ones, wasn't sure if this was going to be any good, so I was just like, hmm, is this going to work, might as well sign up, give it a go, but yeah, I wasn't that enthusiastic. First Facebook profile picture, I looked on my Facebook and like, I think I've deleted the first, like the very first one, but just for the fun of it, I think I'll show you like a really old embarrassing one anyway. It wasn't my actual profile picture, but it's like one of the first ones on my Facebook. So yeah, it's pretty cringe as well. When was your first kiss? My first kiss was, I think, when I was playing Spin the Bottle. Um, I think I was like 14 or something. I feel like all my friends had already had their first kisses and like we were playing Spin the Bottle. It landed on me and this other girl, we kissed. And then like a few people were like, Doug, that was so your first kiss, wasn't it? I was like, no, and tried to hide it, um, but they probably all knew anyway. It was nothing that romantic or special, just Spin the Bottle. First alcoholic drink. Not entirely sure, but I think this was like probably a little drink after a dinner with my parents or something. I seem to remember trying port once, which is kind of like a sweet strong wine. It was probably like a dessert wine or something, but yeah. My first job. I mentioned this in my Draw My Life video, so if you haven't seen that, you should check this out. But my first proper job was cleaning golf buggies at my local golf club. I did actually, when I was like five or six, try to start up a, like a car washing little business just at my house. Like me and my brother stuck up a sign outside our house but um, no one ever came, so it was kind of a failure. But we were pretty young, so I don't think we cared. Where did you go on your first ride on an aeroplane? I think the first time I was going to Portugal. I remember we used to go to this same place quite a few times, and I actually have this thing from when I was three, and it was at this resort. They used to like make all the kids in the kids' club wear it around their neck, and amazingly still have it. This was literally from when I was three. It just has like my name on it, and I think my room number, um, in case I got lost or something. But yeah, that was from like way long ago and I think that was probably the first holiday I went on. So yeah, that was also the first country I ever visited as well, outside of England. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk to them? Her name is Chloe and she's actually my longest ever friend. We still do talk from time to time, not as much as we probably should. I actually went to her wedding two weeks ago, so um, yeah, we are still in touch. Where was your first sleepover? My first sleepover was probably with the same person, with Chloe. I always used to go around her house quite a bit and stay there. What was the first concert you went to? This, I think, was Paul McCartney when I was about 15. I um, just went with my family. There was nothing crazy or anything. It was pretty cool, but yeah, I never really went to that many concerts when I was young. What was your first broken bone? I'm actually very lucky that I don't think I've ever broken a bone. So, yeah, can't really say anything else for that one. What was the first movie you remember seeing? Now, this is a tricky one because it's like so long ago, I barely remember. Um, I know I went to see The World Is Not Enough, but I don't actually remember going to the cinema. I just remember the fact that I first saw it at a cinema. The first time I can actually like pitch myself in a cinema was when I went to see Serendipity. Like me and my friends went and like I kind of convinced them to see this film rather than something else. When it finished, we came out and they were all like, oh, that was so rubbish. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, it was rubbish. When actually I like quite liked it. When was your first detention? I don't really remember. Like, I used to get in trouble all the time at school, but I think I managed to escape detention all the time because I don't actually remember ever having one. I think I might have had, like, maybe one 
in my entire time at school. But I'd always just have to see the headmaster or the deputy head and stuff, never have to do detention. So I guess I was quite lucky. Who was your first roommate? Well, my first flatmates were in second year of university. There was like six other guys that I was sharing with. Because like in England, you don't really have roommates. But in America, I did have a roommate when I stayed there for a year. And that was my friend Jamie. And yeah, we're still in touch and good friends. What was the first sport you were involved in? Well, I'm not really a sporty person, but we did have to kind of do lots of sports at school. Um, I think like the very first one I can remember doing was probably swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. I remember playing rounders as well, which is kind of like baseball, but for girls and little kids, pretty much. What is the first thing you do when you get home? Well, what does any YouTuber do when they get home? They go on YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, all that jazz, and waste loads of time. Hopefully I'm not the only one, so let me know below what you do when you first get home. Uh, but it's probably going to be the same as me, if I had to guess. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanted to make a video response to this, that would be awesome. And I will watch it and I'll check it out and I'll get to know you guys a bit better. Otherwise, I will see you next week where I'm going to be at Summer in the City. So I'm going to be posting a little vlog about that. Um, also, if you're going to Summer in the City, be sure to say hi. I'm not doing a meetup, like, officially. But I'll be like walking around the venue and stuff, so do come up and say hello. I look forward to meeting more of you guys soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! When I was 14, I moved into the kitchen of the same golf club, which I also really enjoyed, as the chefs were really nice and I probably wouldn't be as good a cook today if they hadn't taught me so much.